Hey guys, welcome back. Another legacy video. This is Windows 2000. Um, Windows 2000 running Service Pack 4. This particular machine's got two cores, four gigs of memory. Um, it's still on a 10th gen processor, just like my XP video. This particular machine um, is running just Service Pack 4. I know that there's the unofficial Service Pack 5 and there's 5.2 and brings you up to the 2020 patch revision. For the sake of this machine, I didn't see a use in it because it doesn't really install anything additional or any additional support to run browsers. If it did and it supported modern browsers, then maybe I could say uh, Windows 2000 is still usable. But at this point, Windows 2000 is pretty much dead, uh, at least on the client side. On the server side, you you, you know you, you probably could get away with running um, ISA. would probably still work pretty well to uh, filter out web traffic. Uh, likely, you could still run uh, advanced server to run like uh, domain controller. Um, or if you wanted to build yourself an Exchange 2000 server and run your own internal hosted mail server, Windows 2000 would still work great for that. Um, that would then interface uh, with your Windows uh, 10 and 11 machines and your even your Office 2019 applications would still work with it. But uh, for the sake of running 2000 as a desktop to run it on older hardware and use it on a daily basis or on a semi-daily basis, it's really a waste of time. It doesn't really work, doesn't really do anything. Would probably work pretty well for like a, uh, a gaming machine that you wanted to build to play like things like Duke Nukem from back in the day or Doom or um, Boy, any of those other games that existed at that time. Uh, so that said, uh, does it work to get to the web? Kind of. So we can go to the web and we can browse for things. So if you want to look up like Windows XP, for instance, it will look up XP and certain links do load so you can see things and you can read text and information. That's fine. However, videos, videos do not load. Um, you can't run anything video based. It's flash based, not HTML5 based. Flash is dead. Most of these websites have killed off Flash, so there's really no there's really no use case anymore to run things that have um, video. But text-based stuff works fine. You could still use Google, so Google.com still works. Still get there. You could do searches. Functionality-wise, it's okay if you're just going to use it for very basic things. However, if you want to watch videos on it, you're thinking that you want to use it to run Netflix or something to that effect. You're kind of dreaming. It's It's got two cores. That, that's all it supports and four gigs of memory. And while the operating system is quick, um, it does have uh, a decent amount of um, availability. Right now, I mean, we're running 230 megs of four gigs, which is nothing. We have two cores, 1%. Um, if we go into programs here and accessories and games, um, we do have Solitaire, which loads immediately. I mean, there's no delay of any kind on loading applications on this thing because it's it's got no overhead. Uh, not like Windows 10 and 11, which are bloated. These operating systems weren't bloated. They came vanilla with as little as possible on them, and they ran fantastic. They were well-developed, well-engineered, and well-received by everybody. Everybody that you talk to that's been in the IT world for long enough knows that Windows 2000 and XP were likely the best operating systems Microsoft will ever make. So, I mean, you know, to that effect, these are good if you have old applications to run. XP, I think you have a little more functionality and you could probably get away with using XP at least as a base web-based uh, computer or a, uh, an older computer to run on a daily basis. You could probably get away with it. But I think Windows 2000 at this point is end of life. I'll add the links in the, the description for anybody that wants to screw around and wants to test it out um, where you can get the ISO file um, as well as where you can get the browser to run it. Um, otherwise, again, outside of just using it as a hobby, I don't think I'd waste my time. So to answer my question, can you use Windows 2000 uh, in 2024? Kind of, uh, although not recommended on a client side. All right, guys, like and, like and subscribe for more. Um, hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you learned something. You guys take care now.